It's easy to understand why an impressionable girl like Liza would be momentarily smitten by a man like my husband. Maturity has its own fascination. I guess so. If I were you, I'd just forget all about it. Oh, I haven't thought about Liza for almost a half an hour. <laughs> That's a record for me. That's wonderful. Listening to you explain it, it suddenly comes to me what a child she is, immature and like that. Well, she's still very young, Monster. Yes, she is, and I realize that now. And like you say, maturity sure is fascinating. You're beginning to look hungry again. I think I ought to fix you something to eat. <laughs> Mrs. Stevens, I'm not going to lie to you. I am getting hungry again. But I just want you to know that this has been the most fascinating morning in my whole life. Well, I'll tell you the truth, Monster. It's been a pretty fascinating morning for me, too. I certainly hope you mean that. Monster! Oh, please control yourself. Please don't do anything rash. <laughs> What's all that smell all over you, Jen? Monster, this is my husband. Darren, this is Marvin Grogan. They call him Monster. <laughs> Jen? That's right. That scotch, if I ever smelled anything. The scotch is on me, the gin is on Liza. How do you do, monster? Well, what are you doing with scotch all over you and gin all over Liza? We just started to have a simple drink. A drink? No one had a drink, simple or otherwise. We merely spilled it on ourselves. <gasps> there, you see, perfectly innocent. Okay. I burned up a lot of sugar on account of you. I came over here to bruise you up a little bit, Mr. Stevens. You have no right to spy on me, Mr. Grogan. This is a free country, and I'm a citizen. Perfectly free, as far as I'm concerned. May I have my hand back? <laughs> OK. Pleased to meet you. I have since learned that there's absolutely no maturity and fascination between us, thanks to Samantha here. Samantha? Pay no attention to him, Darren. What does he mean, Samantha? Don't let this big clod bother you, Darren. Now, listen to me, both of you. I think it's about time that both of you went about your own business. But, Darren, my thesis... If you have any more questions, just submit them to me in writing. But, but Darren... No buts. Goodbye and good luck. Thank you. Goodbye, Samantha. <laughs> well, that's quite a conquest you've made there. Well, he's really quite a nice young man. Oh, I suppose under all that sinew and tendon beats a heart of pure protein. Oh, Darren. Oh, Darren, what? Well, I mean, you're... Oh, Darren, you're not. I mean... Well, I mean what I mean. You say what you've got to say. You're jealous. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Me jealous of a... a... Typical American school kid with freckles, short socks, and sneakers. <laughs> well, I... Uh... I suppose you're pretty proud of yourself, aren't you? She's a very charming person. Something about which you don't have the faintest idea how to be. Well, what's so unusual about having charm? It comes with age, like wrinkles. You're jealous. Me? Jealous? You've got to be kidding. Sure. Liza Randall, the most irresistible thing to come along since Bridget Bardot. You're jealous. <laughs> don't you laugh at me, you monster, or so help me. I want you to know I'm really very flattered by this whole thing. You should be. Liza happens to be an extremely pretty girl. I was talking about Monster. We had quite a morning. He was here all morning? Oh, yes. He arrived just after you left. He wanted to break you in half. Only my charm and three square meals kept you in one piece. I want you to know I put up quite a valiant fight myself today. Oh, really? It was touch and go there for a moment. Touch what and go where? Are you trying to tell me that it wasn't you who lured him down to his office, it was him that lured you? Mm -hmm. Monster, it was his idea, I swear. Liza, if you're lying... If my term project wasn't so important, I'd have gone shopping with my mother. That does it. Oh, Monster! I don't mind telling you, that child got a bit aggressive down there at the office. Child? That's as fully developed a woman as I've seen in many a day. You said yourself she was a typical American it school kid. It doesn't matter what I said. You must have given her some encouragement. I did nothing of the kind. I was explaining to her the rise and fall of a public acceptance survey chart. She tried to get me drunk. Do you really expect me to believe that? Of course I do, as much as you expect me to believe you were protecting me from Marvin Musclebound all morning. Well, I was. Oh, don't be ridiculous. That big clod wouldn't hurt a flea. What did you say? I said he wouldn't hurt a flea. You said I was ridiculous. Who said you were ridiculous? Me? Yes, that's what you said. Let's not fight about it. Well, that's exactly what you're doing. 